So day five begins and I'm still here in Hakka, uh, preparing for the shortest leg of the journey, only like 20 miles, should take me more than an hour. And um, uh, I'm a little bit worried because today is the first day of the Thinjan festival, the water festival, where Burmese love to throw water on each other. In Yangon, it's out of control. It's, it's fun, but you spend the day sopping wet if you're outside. And, um, but I had breakfast and I learned from a local that it's only a very localized area and I could skirt around it where they do the water throw. So, we'll get wet. Cool. I don't think the water throwers are gonna be active. Particularly not when it's like 70 degrees out, it's not even. Anyway, so I've got a, a raincoat. It's the only thing I can find that fit me. Well, my concerns about the water throwing were unwarranted. I don't know how young they were, 32, 61. Huh. Well, they make great rest stops. So there are, so there are two guest houses in this town of Falam. I've made it here. And the first one was full, but I have a reservation at the other one. So. Anything better? <laughs> this room is a $5 room in any other country in the world. Um, this should be a $5 room. It should be 5000 and they're charging me $20,000. It's roughly $14 for a room with no, no bathroom, no table, no TV, no fan, no refrigerator. <laughs> um, there's the closet. It's a hanger. Uh, and it does have outlets. But at least the bed is as hard as a rock. I switched rooms. I decided if I'm going to be in a crappy room, I might as well be in a really crappy room. This one's only 15000 And it's um, on the quieter side of the road. This place was originally the uh, colonial capital. The British were in charge of this part of the world. And uh, it was their center. So I was expecting more, but I've yet to explore. That's what we're gonna do now. 